Singapore, ride-hailing firm Grab has disabled its Grab Share feature between 1 a.m. and 5 a.m., after receiving numerous reports about safety concerns. Grab Share allows passengers to carpool in a car or taxi with other travelers headed in the same direction for a cheaper ride. The move to disable the function during that period of time was announced to Grab drivers earlier this month, but passengers said they were not notified of the change. In an email to drivers last Monday, June 4, Grab said, Dear partner, to further improve the Grab Share experience and safety for our partners and passengers, the Grab Share service will not be available from 1 a.m. to 4.59 a.m. daily. This change has been in effect starting today. All other services will remain available at all hours. Screenshot of the email that was distributed to Grab drivers on June 4. They should be more transparent passengers who wrote to Grab's customer service after realizing that they were unable to make a booking on GrabShare received an email response saying the service was disabled during those hours. Due to safety concern, the email did not elaborate on what those safety concerns were. We seek your kind understanding on this matter as upon receiving numerous reports on safety concern both from passenger and driver, sick, we decided to disable the service during the time frame mentioned, sick, as a safety precaution, the email stated. A screenshot of an email reply from Grab. Kamal Razalik, an executive who previously used Grab Share to travel home after ending his shift at 2 a.m., was among the passengers who wrote to Grab. He told Channel News Asia that it was unacceptable that Grab did not inform passengers of this development. It's a little disrespectful. I had to find it out from my driver, he said. Mr. Kamal typically spends 13 Singapore dollars for his ride home using Grab Share. Now, he forks out up to 24 Singapore dollars for just Grab or taxi rides. Another regular Grab user, Ms. Nancy Chan, said she found out on Saturday, June 9, that the Grab Share service was disabled when she tried to make a booking at 2 a.m. I was shocked as there was no proper notification from Grab that they had removed the service until I tried to make the booking. They should be more transparent and make an announcement before they implemented this so that riders can plan better, she said. Ms. Chan added that besides the lack of transparency, she is also concerned about surges in demand and pricing that typically happens just before 1 a.m. Prices are bound to surge just before the 1 a.m. timing as more people try to book a grab share rides right before 1 a.m., she said. I took a Comfort Delgro taxi after 1 a.m. from town recently. The price is now lower than grab. Grab launched the Grab Share service in December 2016 as more commuters in Singapore were seen to be willing to share rides with strangers, in return for cheaper fares. The company revealed that Grab Share rides are 30% cheaper than just Grab rides, but still subject to surge pricing. Furthermore, only two passenger bookings are allowed per trip. This, coupled with Grab Share's matching algorithm, minimizes long detours for both passengers and drivers, Grab said. Less value for my fuel, Grab Driver Some Grab Drivers Channel News Asia spoke to said disabling the Grab Share feature during the stipulated period has adversely affected their income. One driver who declined to be named said Grab Share allowed him to earn more from each ride as he would be able to ferry more passengers while driving in the same general direction. When I work late hours, I like to take advantage of Grab Share at Changi Airport because I can pick up more than one passenger when there's an incoming flight, he said. But now I can only take one at a time. It's less value for my fuel, he added. Another driver, who also wanted to remain anonymous, told Channel News Asia that he once earned a total of 50 Singapore dollars from two passengers after picking them up separately via Grab Share at around 3 a.m. There is actually quite a lot of business for us at night. Grab has just found another way to reduce our income, said the 28-year-old. This is an example of how Grab exerts its monopoly in the ride-sharing market. And we drivers have our hands tied because there's no other viable options to work at, he added. Channel News Asia has contacted Grab for official comment.